GMS Info Doc 2. Here to feed the elect through the spirit of Yahweh Shimei Shai. This is a little information, some more information dealing with the chip. Now this is from rinse.com and um, I've used this site before. They put out a lot of good stories, a lot of good articles and um, I just want to share with you brother some more information concerning the chip. Now this is uh, dated uh, the year 2005, uh, April 30th and it's entitled Chip Implanting the Taking of Free Will. And remember the last lesson I did, pretty much Nick Rockefeller told Aaron Russo that it's all about control. So one of the reasons for the RFID chip is to take away free will. Again, total control. In October 2004, the FDA approved an implantable microchip for use in humans. A tiny subcutaneous, uh, sub I guess, subcutaneous RFID tag, now made by several American companies like Applied Digital Solutions, Very Chip, and Di Digital Angel, are mass producing RFID chips and stocking chip warehouses and implantation centers. Now remember the prophecy says, and he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, to receive that mark. And we know, those of us that know the truth, we know that that mark is the chip. So here's the article telling you that these companies like Applied Digital Solutions, Very Chip, and Digital Angel are mass producing RFID chips and stocking chip warehouses. Why are they doing that? They're doing that for the day when the elites make it mandatory for you to have that chip. That's why RFID chips are being mass produced by these uh, different American companies. And by the way, they're American companies. Did you note that, that the article said they're American companies like Applied Digital Solutions, uh, Very Chip, and Digital Angel? All right. Upper level governmental officials are getting chipped to demonstrate public acceptance of the technology. So you have government officials, it says upper level, which are being chipped. And they're doing that as an example why the lower level people, you know, the average Joe six pack should be chipped. The idea is if governmental officials on the upper level are getting chipped, why not the mass populace be chipped? And again, when you go back to the scripture, Revelation 13, 16 to 17, it says, He causeth all both small and great. So here's an example of what might be considered great. Upper level governmental officials are getting chipped to demonstrate public ac acceptance of the technology. So that's an example of the great getting chipped. And the small is obviously the average Joe six pack, the average, uh, you know, the average person on the bottom rung, you know, on the bottom level. They have to get chipped as well. Upper level governmental officials are getting chipped to demonstrate public acceptance of the technology and they are very quick to highlight the humanitarian uses of tracking devices in humans. Children and pets should be chipped in case they get lost and when they first started this program they first started experimenting those chips on pets but there was a much more sinister purpose for chipping those pets. The pets were just um, a prototype, if you will, or a, a prelude to the ones, um, when I say the they, I mean the elites, the ones they really want to chip, which is people in general, especially tribes. 
alright children and pets should be chipped in case they get lost chipping children will help to locate kidnapped kids chipping senior citizens gives hospitals immediate access to their medical records and you have a, a company like Verichip and that's their main angle which is to chip senior citizens with with health problems they want them uh, chipped many millionaires and their children are chipping themselves for, for security reasons large herds of cattle and sheep are being or are implanted to assist ranchers and farmers with efficient tracking security medical and emergency applications seem to be call of the corporations and their government backers when it comes to the new branding technologies and that's essentially that's what the chip is you see when you take that chip basically you're being branded by the elites you're being branded by in particular the Rothschilds and basically you're saying to the Rothschilds that you are their property all right and I'm talking about you tribes I'm talking about you 12 tribes you Israelites if you take that chip basically you're saying that the Rothschilds is your God instead of your Harbashim Yahushai and you're violating the first commandment which says you shall have no other gods before the Heavenly Father so by taking that chip you're saying that the Rothschilds the so-called white man is your God not your Harbashim Yahushai but for American citizens it is first and foremost an outrage unthinkable immoral and for many it is demonic and it, and it is also a violation of the book of uh, um, Leviticus the 19th chapter where the Lord said you shall not put any marks upon you you're not supposed to have any uh, foreign objects prick into the skin so it is also a violation of that law let me read that again it says but for American citizens it is first and foremost an outrage unthinkable immoral and for many it is demonic and that's why you know we as men of Yahweh Shai have to speak about the chip we have to educate our people especially the elect we have to educate them to this chip because it's it's demonic man it's it's a violation of the most High's law it's totally demonic all right and pursuant to revelation 14 and 9 if you take that chip you will be destroyed there's no two ways about it this is Revelation 14 and 9 and the third angel followed them saying <coughs> with a loud voice if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or his hand and that mark the word there is karagma which means a thing imprinted a thing stamped and you notice it says in his forehead or in his hand that can only mean the chip so if any man receive that chip the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High which is poured out without mixture into his cup of his indignation you look up that word indignation it means righteous anger the wine of the wrath of the Most High those are those nuclear missiles and you notice it says it's poured out without mixture meaning you get the full force of the nuclear missile and I believe some say it's over a million degrees Fahrenheit those missiles so you get the full force of them and that's why when those missiles hit you it'll instantly turn your body into ash turn your body into powder and, that, and that's why it is written in the scriptures shall not the people be beaten to powder before Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and again there's another scripture where Yahweh Bashim Yahushai said he will melt you you know again there's another scripture where it says the heavens 
and the elements being on fire melted with fervent heat so this is what is meant by the wine of the wrath of the Most High which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb because when America is being destroyed by those nuclear missiles you're going to have the holy angels present and you're going to have Yahweh Hashem Shai present so those of you that take that mark, take that chip you're going to be destroyed by those nuclear missiles right here in America before the presence of Yahweh Hashem Shai and the angels I just read it in Revelation 14 and 9 so it behooves you to think about this real carefully and get yourself educated to this RFID chip and above all don't let idiots like Nate Satan Nathan Satan or General Gehenna fool you this is deadly serious and those two have sold out so that's why they're teaching the garbage that they're teaching concerning the chip or concerning Revelation 13 and 16 saying that the mark is a philosophy of the so-called white man you even have Gehenna being flippant about the whole thing by saying that the mark is sleeping with so-called white women you better get educated and you better take this seriously and that's why we at here at GMS we putting together these lessons to get you up to speed but it's up to you for, for you to listen you know and if you're not of the elect you're not gonna listen anyway you're, you're just gonna be destroyed you're gonna take that chip and you're gonna be destroyed reading on it says RFID technology is everywhere it's in the cars that we drive in the products sold at Walmart in our cell phones and in many other applications but the digital angel chip takes implementation technology to a whole new level of abuse digital angel combined <coughs> advanced biosensor technology and web enabled wireless telecommunications that are linked to that are linked to global positioning systems and one of the things Nate said that the chip is just a tracking device he's half right it's a lot more than a tracking device the chip utilizing advanced biosensor capabilities can monitor body functions and transmit that data anywhere in the world while giving out accurate location information to a ground station or monitoring facility again total control if that is not the death of privacy what is if corporations can monitor our body functions and our locations 24 hours a day and year after year then what is privacy and that's the future that's the future of the so-called white man's kingdom if he were allowed to rule and that's one of the reasons why his kingdom have to be destroyed that's one of the reasons why he has to be destroyed and be brought into slavery because this is what's going to happen you know again Yahweh I said if this devil is left to his own devices there would no flesh would left to be saved but for the elect's sake those days shall be shortened this is what Yahweh Shai said well who's the elect the elect are the ones that are, that are coming back to this truth and sincerity and honesty and for our sakes those days are going to be shortened what days the days of the so-called white man in rulership pushing madness like this they want to put a chip inside of you and monitor you 24 hours a day year after year and you don't think that there's something wrong with that now let's add to the very chips the other biometric technologies which identify humans by unique biological or physical characteristics such as fingerprints voice prints retina retina um, characteristics and face recognition points all this multi-billion dollar technology to safeguard millionaires to track lost children and pets to track child molesters 
and to help seniors. If you believe that, then I've got some wetland to sell you in a biosphere reserve. <laughs> yeah, because it's a lot more than face recognition and multi, I'm sorry, and voice prints and fingerprints. Always remember this, RFID technology was created and tested prior to 9-11 and 9-11 has been the primary excuse for human tracking. And by the way, the, the elites created 9-11. And this is what they do, this is a textbook operation. They, they have something they call problem, reaction, solution. They create a problem which generates a reaction and they come with the solution and the solution is usually more and more control especially for your tribes because if you go in the book of Psalm the 83rd chapter it says that they have said come and let us cut them off from being a nation talking about the children of Israel you Israelites the elites want to cut you off from being a nation when I say the elites I'm talking about the rich banking families beginning with the Rothschild family which are all so-called Jews. Now if you go back to the book of Revelation 2 and 9, it tells you who the so-called Jews are. They are the synagogue of Satan. Well, they want to put you back in slavery. They want to gain that birthright that they lost to our forefather Jacob. That's what it is all about. Hence, this technology of the RFID chip. Always remember this, RFID technology was created and tested prior to 9-11, and 9-11 has been the primary excuse for human tracking, and laughingly, so has illegal immigration, which clearly is not illegal, as our borders are to remain open. And by the way, the so-called Mexicans were here first before the so-called white man came over here. This is their land, or it used to be. So who the hell is the so-called white man to call them illegal aliens when they were here first? It is time for all American citizens to stop with the nat nativity. It is time to recognize a government that is deviously linked to and in bed with corporations who intend to rule over all human beings. And please remember that Social Security cards were never meant to be mandatory. Yeah, and if you do the um, research on Social Security, it was supposed to be set up for a time. But ha now it's be it has become mandatory, just like the chip will. See, this is how this devil does things. He does it in a... In a uh, a covert manner. He does it slowly but surely. Alright. And please remember that social security cards were never meant to be mandatory, nor were driver's licenses or bank cards. But try getting by one day without them. See now they have become a norm. When they were first introduced, it was on on a optional basis you had the option if you wanted to take it or not but now it is mandatory it's the same thing with the chip the chip will be mandatory just like the social security card the driver's license etc etc banking is slated to become a totally RFID operation so those of you that have bank accounts there you go with chips implanted into the hands of those with with bank accounts yeah because part of their plans is to destroy cash as we know it they already circulate commercials where if a guy pays in cash he's looked at as being funny that the new wave is to go through the terminals and just scan your hand or to scan your, your, your forehead and you can walk right out with whatever products that you've bought you pay for it by scanning your hand or having your forehead scanned which goes back to the prophecy in Revelation 13 and 16 and he causeth all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads 
and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark save he that had the chip and they're showing you commercials that portray this very prophecy that's why even this this uh, article here says it's it is time for all American citizens to stop with the nativity all right or night night nativity a night can never say that word but you know what the word is you look it up it's time for all American citizens to stop with the bullshit that's what it should say and, and admit truth and that's referring to you American citizens but also to you tribes that's supposed to be in the truth a lot of you are night and naive because you listen to guys like Nate Satan you listen to devils I should say like Nate Satan and General Gehenna and they make you even more naive than you than you already are you better start doing your research banking is slated to become a totally RFID operation with chips implanted into the hands of those with bank accounts try getting by without a bank account when you send your bill payments to account centers across the country in other words there's gonna come a time when they're gonna make it mandatory that you pay your bills by that chip and also keep in mind that the US Postal Service is also in the process of RFID smart mail tracking the writing is on the wall again and the writing clearly states that our government does not serve the well-being of its citizens and more and more people are waking up and finding that out they're finding out they've been had they're finding out about that semi-secret society called the Illuminati and that they're really controlling all things and one of the reasons why they're waking up and finding that out is via the internet and that is why they're passing so much legislation to try to control the internet because people are waking up at an alarm rate or alarming rate and the writing clearly states that our government does not serve the well-being of its citizens but rather the intentions of corporations databases and law enforcement equally our schools have partnered with RFID corporations and many school children now wear mandatory RFID tags in schools and very soon they'll have to wear it inside of them not just a tag but they'll have to put it those uh, chips inside of the, the children that's going to be mandatory soon remember that schools are government institutions so requiring students to wear tracking devices is a government or governmental mandate will this technology be mandated for for right our right to drive for our right to buy and sell oh isn't that what the prophecy says will this technology be mandated for right our right to drive for our right to buy and sell for our right to receive medical treatment for our right to travel for our right to buy gasoline take a wild guess what is the wild guess yes all right and gun owners heads up on April 13 2004 applied digital solutions announced that it that its wholly owned subsidiary very chip corporation has entered into a memorandum of understanding with FN manufacturing a leading gun manufacturer to develop the first in the world of firearms the objective is an integrated user authorization system for firearms using very very chip RFID technology you shall be chipped in order to keep and bear <laughs> they want to cover all aspects man with that chip again what does the prophecy say it says and he causeth all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive and mock Rece what is that mark the chip you shall be chipped in order to keep and bear you you had to know that that you had to know that was coming considering the 30-year non-stop efforts to deny you of your Second Amendment rights a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state 
the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Little is little known is also the global aspect of RFID chipping technology and efforts. Mexico is on a mission to chip all children due to the high rate of kidnappings. Uh, subdermal personal verification technology is being used in Russia. Sub subdermal personal verification, that's the chip, that's another way of saying the chip. Subdermal is underneath the skin. Um, subdermal personal verification technology is being used in Russia, Switzerland, China, Ecuador, Italy, Spain, Argentina, Canada, Paraguay, Uruguay, Brazil, uh, Germany, England, Taiwan, Saudi Arabia, Africa, South Korea, on and on and on. So as you can see, this thing is definitely moving worldwide. Again, what does the prophecy say? He calls it all, both small and great. When it says all, it means all peoples of the world. The Rothschilds want this technology of the chip to be on all peoples of the world. RFID and chipping industries include banks, gas stations, hospitals, social security numbers and driver's licenses, passports, schools, military, including our soldiers. So those of you in the military, you're going to get chipped. And our enemies, automobiles, telephones and cell phones, televisions, computer systems, prisons, schools, preschools, government, all workplaces. In other words, there's going to come a time when for you, in order for you to get a job, you have to be chipped. And corporations, bars, restaurants, country clubs, and other private clubs. You even got a club called the Baja Beach Club. And in order for you to go in that club and have a night of enjoyment, you have to be chipped. It's one of those clubs. Or in other words, it's everywhere. But like all the other global infrastructures that were slid beneath us by our own government or by our government and its corporations, RFID technology and human chipping is most mostly blacked out via media so that we do not know their truth and the horrible extent of that truth. I beg of you, my dear American people, do not spend one more day ignoring what you know to be true. Again, you know, a lot of people are naive to this fact. Especially those that claim they're in the truth and they follow jackasses like Nate Satan, Nathan, and General Gehenna. They're totally naive. They actually laugh and scoff at <laughs> Revelation 13, 16, and 17. Again, let me read this again. It says, I beg of you, my dear American people, do not spend one more day ignoring what you know to be true. America is being conquered from within, as so many have said would, in fact, occur. Can you not see that there is a mad rush to implement the final structures necessary to recreate American or to recreate America? our beliefs and values and constitutional rights and to take every ounce of our privacy. Connect all the dots you see in America. See, when the only difference here is we that are in the truth, we that are hopefully members of the elect pursuant to Re uh, Romans 11 and 7, we don't give a damn about America. America is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction, thus saith the Lord. See, that's the difference. Connect all the dots you see in America, all the changes and daily dismissal of our voting rights under memorandums of understanding, NGOs, stakeholding groups, councils, and other consensus operations. Besides our lives, perhaps the most important gift from our maker is the gift of free will, which <laughs> there's no such thing as free will. I'll, the will pursuant to Ecclesiastes 12 and 14, the will that man is supposed to follow is the will of Yahweh Barshem Yahushai, beginning with the nation of Israel, beginning with the elect. Mm, let me see here, because they're talking about this free will crap. 
we can uh, negate that but basically the reason why they're mentioning the free will is because that's exactly what the elites want to take especially from you Israelites the ability for you to have the will to worship Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shai um, let's read the la last part here you can only call it anti let's see you cannot take free will from the people and call it progress science or protection you can only call it anti-god which is of course the ultimate goal yeah well that's true because that's the kind of society that those elites want to bring a society where you worship Satan and which is anti most high so there you have it a little information from rents.com entitled chip implanting the taking of free will and before I go let me just read a couple more scriptures because they're going to make that chip mandatory and that's really going to be the beginning of your troubles Jacob your troubles you tribes all what we've been warning you about for the last four years on YouTube you're going to see it then you're going to remember us this is Jeremiah 36 and 7 it says ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail because a man doth not travail with child a woman do but the hell that's coming is going to make you men you know drop to your knees basically that's what the scripture is saying wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail and all faces are turned into paleness because you're going to have these race wars the race riots you're going to have the uh, pandemics the different pandemics they're going to institute or make the chip mandatory you're going to have more and more terrorist attacks that's why the scripture have said men's hearts failing them for fear of the things that are coming upon the earth plus you're going to have things that the most high is going to do that's going to bring fear upon you people and we're in that time now that's why I'm reading this prophecy the seventh verse alas for the day Jeremiah 30 and 7 alas for that day is great so that none is like it even the time of Jacob's trouble and you tribes you are Jacob that's talking about you you Negroes you Westerns you Puerto Ricans you Mexicans you Haitians you know that's talking about you your trouble is coming hell it's already here but it's gonna escalate it's gonna get even more intense it says even the time of Jacob's trouble but he shall be saved out of it the ones that will be saved out of it is the elect of Jacob not all of Jacob because it is written two-thirds of you people man you're gonna be put to death because you have rejected Yahweh Shem Shai basically and that's you scoffers you scorners and you basically you niggas that ain't right you part of that club we call the two-thirds club well the most I call it excuse me excuse me the most I call you the two-thirds club now, I already read to you Revelation 14 and 9 which is the punishment of taking that chip this is Revelation 15 and 2 and I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire that's those nuclear missiles when John saw the vision on the island of Patmos he actually saw the nuclear missiles burning this place up this place meaning America and them that had gotten victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark so you're going to have certain Israelites which are members of the elect that are not going to take that chip no matter what kind of adversity they got, they're going to have to face they're not going to take that chip which is Esau's mark again the word mark from the Greek karagma which means a thing inserted which can only mean the chip it's not talking about a goddamn philosophy like false prophets like Nathan or Nate Satan or General Gehenna will tell you so you're gonna have certain individuals particularly of the elect that will not take the chip and they'll have that victory over they'll they'll persevere even in the time of Jacob's trouble read that again and I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire and them that had gotten victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark 
and over the number of his name stand on the sea of glass having the harps of the heavenly father so in other words they're going to be delivered through those nuclear missiles through the haze of fire and we're going to be delivered through something called the so-called UFOs the chariots of the heavenly father that's the elect you know of which I know we all hope that we're part of <laughs> I'll say it as I'll say it like that so that you know that's pretty much it little information plus you know a couple of scriptures read and um, you know we'll see you in the next bit of information this is uh, GMS Info Doc 2 Shalom to the elect through the name of Yahweh Shimiah Shai.